There are the five red lights. Now obviously the desync doesn't mean anything, so we've still got to wait until we see those cars move. And now they're off. So Red Panda gets a pretty decent start. And the camera apparently doesn't want to help me out here, but there we go. So Sid getting fought really, really bad. By oh, I saw a massive crash already. Fever ends up getting uh, into the back of Sid there. And I think he ended up taking out... Uh, who was that? Matt got flown off. Oh, That's Lotus the has just punched Matt's side. He's lost the new plate. Yamsi like spun his ground as well. Jesus Christ, one of the cars was in the track just then. I have no idea what's going on. A yellow flag has been called for Sector 1 as Yumpsy got spun round. That was on his own, I believe. I didn't see him get hit. And uh, after all that chaos, Red Panda is in the lead. Apollo is now there. Okay, there's the apparent corrected pit stop strategy. Hey, Soft to hard. T Mac gets. Uh... Is that a DNF or a disconnect? I think that's a DNF. It looks like he's just gone off on the right hand wall before the chicane and it's a VSC. Oh my lord, a VSC and it's only lap one. Peter's really close to Geordie Peter's, here, try actually. Peter's trying to figure out something. Here we go, round turn 14. The DRS is going to help. Geordie won't have it. Keep an eye on Matt Dabry as well. There's the, uh, the flap opening. Geordie oh, really using his overtake. But Peter stops ranging him in now. Oh, he's squeezing him right in the center of the track. As Geordie hits the brakes way too late, that's going to allow the Alfa Romeo to try and go up on the inside. They're side by side now as they come through, but it looks like the Alfa Romeo will squeeze out. But the real question is, can Matt Dabry get past? As of now, Geordie retains seventh, so he's only lost one position. The Big Al's managed to catch up through all that as well. Interestingly enough, Yumsy just had a really, really bad sector too. And that's allowed Red Panda to really come up. And it looks like he might attack right on the inside, and he does. We'll just see who gets out on top, and it's going to be Red Panda. As Yumpsy drops might, back in position. This might leave um, Panda vulnerable if he doesn't get DRS off band, but I think he will. So he will stay here going through this DRS straight. Yumpsy won't have enough to attack here, and Panda's got enough to defend in terms of DRS. Gonna keep an eye on Potsy here as there's a small train forming. Red Panda's definitely gonna try and jump up to band camp. He probably won't catch him right before. Oh, as Jesus, Potsy almost uh, runs into the back of the racing point. Apollo now looks. To make a move, Yumpsy, I don't think he's going to be able to defend. As he goes on the outside of turn two. And he makes it work. Good move. And Panda's also done it on band. Oh, yes. They said they did it at the same time. So Apollo moves up into sixth. Red Panda takes fourth. You can only imagine Potsy's going to try and take this as well. Oh, don't do it at the chicane. You're crazy, Ooh. mate. You're crazy. Oh, but he gets yeah, it done. Yumpsy yeah. Yeah, Yumpsy is really suffering now. So that'll be due. Whoa, as Apollo goes on the outside and manages to get the overtake done on the Renault. Oh, I think Potsy might actually do this as well. Let's have a look. Yep. Woo. That's very hard, oh, That was a very, very, very hard break there. Uh, ben was sideways in the braking zone. That was crazy. They're Why staying really? out, but this time... Big Al has prepared. Stayed back knowing that the uh, there might be a heavy break there. Peter's got no chance. He's yeah. got to pick a side. It looks like he tries to stay a fairly center, but Big Al's going to make the move regardless. Or they might collide with the rear tire there. But it looks like Big Al does squeeze it out and gets DRS in the second sector as well. Uh, second section, rather. So he'll pull ahead good. fairly well. Sid's being held up here by the head, Yumpsy, and Ben. Oh, Sid's going to go up on the inside. Oh, <laughs> On the inside of Wahid manages to get that done. Great drive there from the Renault. So now there is quite a massive train. You are correct, sir. All the way from Smitty to Matt Dabry. And keep an eye on Big Al because Yuri comes out in regards to Peter is important. Matt Dabry now is trying to aim up on Wahid. Oh my god! Oh my god, how did he miss that car? How did he miss that car? Oh, for a wow, good oh my god, Matt Dabry ended up going into the pit lane to make the overtake there. And well, hold on a minute, Big Al's uh, decided Big to Al's answer the call as well. Yeah. Matt going really, really wide. That's going to be the advantage here for the Haas. He'll break really late. They collide, but there's no damage to either car. Now for a man, now close behind. Oh, he dives in right up on the inside. Oh, that's going to be a problem if they keep colliding like that. He forces him a little bit out, and Peter gets 
Peter loses out. Geordie makes a position there as well. See, that's why you can't wrestle with open wheel cars. No it doesn't. To Peter. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't work well in your favour. It is, yeah. So Big Al and Matt Dabry. This little uh, three car train. And it looks like Sid might be making a move on Smitty there. Nice little dive. This oh, Smitty just getting a bit of oversteer in here. Oh, there's a touch. We've got a yellow flag, sector two, I think. Again. That was what you just mentioned. And a lot of front wing loss for Matsoid as well. We have to oh, pick. Big Al gets hit. Big Al tried to go on the inside and it didn't work. Ends up hitting the front of Wahi. Uh, sorry, the, the rear tyre of that McLaren and no gets obvious. spun. So he's in DRS contention now with Big Al. I can't imagine it's going to take too much work. Closed up very quickly. You got to come around 14. He's got 50% on the DRS. I can only imagine. There goes ERS battery on. And have a look at this. And good boy. He didn't even try to defend that Big Al. As far as I'm understanding, uh, the, the the top guys are pretty much um, equal on pins. Got a uh, sector one yellow flag, and it looks like one of the Alpha Tauris. I believe it's Matsoid. There he is. Oh, and he gets a 10 second time penalty for waiting. Mm. Now, he'll be a right down. Oh. Because this yeah. panda crosses the line for the win. Oh my god, I was so busy watching this thing. So, Red Panda will take the win there. Potsy comes across in second. It's five seconds ahead, but even with that penalty, he still gets two seconds to his name. Apollo will take third. Slid comes in fourth, and Matt Dabry will take fifth. With a great try there. On pins. Oh, that's right, he does. Oh, boy. Okay. So that is the tier one race over. As Flyboy gets given driver of the day. Ah, uh, yeah. I can see he that. He pulled off the risky strat. <laughs> yeah, he did the, He did pull off the risky strat. So there's Red Panda with a well-deserved win. Debut. Oh, maiden win, sorry. My bad. Well-deserved. It's a great drive. He's lucky that uh, he managed to get out that lead. Otherwise, that penalty would have bit him. Hotsy and Pepsi. Fourth podiums as well in the season.